announcements. Email all church announcements to humcchurch502 at gmail.com at least two weeks in advance. On Thursday, December the 8th, the Mass Choir will rehearse at 7 p.m. On Saturday at 9 a.m., there will be financial training here with Mr. Bill Westbrook. Also, on Saturday the 10th, the Herlock Christmas Parade will start at 5 p.m. The Christmas card exchange will begin today and run through Christmas Eve. The Willing Workers Outreach Ministry is collecting new and gently used winter clothing for kids and adults to help the homeless on the Eastern Shore. You may drop off your articles at 502 South Main Street, Herlock, Maryland. The goal is to collect 1,000 winter coats during the winter coat drive. No Cook Tuesday is on December 13th at 5 p.m. Come drive through and pick up your home cooked meal for you and your loved ones to share. Herlock United Methodist Church is celebrating the King with a Christmas cantata on December the 24th at 6 p.m. Come join us. These are the announcements for the week. Go forth and be blessed. We will now have a lighting of the candles. Followed by the processional by the choir. Would everybody please stand?
Amen. Good morning, church. And welcome to Herlock United Methodist Church. Do we have any visitors with us here this morning? If not, we will proceed with the call to worship. Please stand. Get ready, people of God. The time of hope and peace is at hand. We are called to action rather than reaction. Open your hearts to God's word and God's will. Come, draw near to God in faith. Let us prepare our hearts to receive the wondrous gifts of God. Amen. 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 Our hymn of praise will be every time I feel the Spirit, found on page 404. We now have lighting of the Advent candle. Today is the second Sunday in the Advent season. It gives us the opportunity to prepare our hearts in faithful waiting and to celebrate the birth of, birth of Jesus and ready ourselves for his second coming. morning. We just lit the candle of peace. The universe is full of God's wondrous acts, both seen and unseen. God's most wondrous acts was revealed in Jesus Christ, who was born in a stable and overcame the power of sin and death to redeem us. True peace comes when we recognize God's wondrous acts and experience God's redeeming love. We will now have a morning prayer. Birthdays is a gift from God. Christmas is about giving. But John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. We celebrate birthdays 
And Christ's birthday was the one most wonderful birthday that happened. We have birthdays we celebrate, which is a good thing. And then birthdays are important. You can easily remember birthdays. I remember my 12th birthday. That was one of the happy days of my life. I had just come out of a class, what we call something like the confirmation class. We went through a class we learned about baptism. We learned about joining the church. And we learned about sacrament. And through it all, we've all had birthdays that we re really remember and we hold on to them. What about when you were 16? Were you happy to get your driving license? When you become 21, you remember that? I was a man. Oh, much if our Father, we come in your presence this morning just as happy and joyful as we can be. And we thank you for waking us up this morning, oh God, in our right mind, and a mind to come out and worship with thy brothers and our sisters. We had food on our table, clothes to put on our back, and a car to ride in. And we thank you, O oh God, for the many blessings that you trust upon us daily. And yet, we must humble confess, we have not loved you with all our hearts, all our minds, and all our strength. But we continue to do those things which we ought not to do. And we leave undone those things that we should do. But through it all, we thank you for your kindness, your patience, and your mercy. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray this morning for every member of the church, those who are not in the church, we pray for everybody. And we pray especially for the offices in the church, that they will do their, do their job. Forget about what we celebrate Christmas, for we get hooked up on the giving, the hustling and the bustling and the party. We forget about whose birthday we are supposed to be celebrating. Oh, merciful God, and we ask the question, we give one another present, and how can I give God a present when he has everything? And one thing that he don't have, we can give it to him. We can give him our hearts. And like David prayed, Father, we pray that you will come into our hearts, such our minds, our thoughts, and our actions. And oh, merciful God, we say that we hear the word, but do we practice the word? And oh, merciful God, some of the, sign, the song that we sing, do we really, really mean what we sing? We sang the song, will God be pleased with our praise? And he answered in the song, we must change the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we give, and most of all, oh God, the way we live. We just ask you just to strengthen us and help us to continue to grow grace and mercy. And let's not be just a hear the word, 
but to become a doer of the word. We ask these and many other things in the name of thy son, Jesus. And then my soul said, Amen. Amen. Please stand for the reading of scripture. The, crypt, the scripture will be coming from Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. In those days, days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repeat ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same, John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and honey, wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees came to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned ye to flee from the wrath to come? But know this, that if the good man of the house <laughs> had known in what watch the, th the thief would come, he would have watched and would have suffered his house to be broken up. Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water, unto repentance, but he, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his, his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the shaft and unquenchable fire. These are the words of the Lord. We will now have the affirmation of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We will now have ministry and song.
We will now prepare for our tithes and offering. want you to know that come on her like you deserve the best of the best come on stand up all of you the church you deserve the best of the best I do apologize that the technology does not have that on there I didn't send it to him but I did get the the, um, the flyer um, on this past Tuesday at the Hyatt Regency brother Charles said oh pastor I just thought it was in the Delaware conference, but it was not. Throughout the eastern shore, the whole Delmarva, come on her lot, you received 54,000 votes as one being of the top three churches Amen. on the shore as being one of the places to worship. Come on, we ought to give God some praise. Amen, amen. We ought to give him some praise. We ought to give him some praise. I don't know about you, but I feel like going on. Come on, come on. I know, you know, Brother Cedric, he went with me and he said to me, he said, Pastor, just think, just think, just think. Just when you think back over your life, come on, Herlock, if you just think back how far God has brought you, we all ought to be up giving God some praise this morning. Come on, I know that you ought to be giving God some praise because it was no goodness of yourself, but it was the goodness of God that brought you this far. I don't know about you, but I feel like going on. Amen. I feel like going on. And not only that, not only that, but I want y'all to know that you were the only, only African-American church and business that was in the room. Come on. Y'all ought to give yourself some more praise. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. I know what God can do, will do, and shall do. Amen. We praise God for what he is doing in the life of the church. I just want to say that the sign-up sheet in the back of the church for the state rally is out for the finance department. This is just not one person doing this, but this is the whole entire church. So we want to at least get 80% participation. Amen. 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 Come on. I know this is your church. You know, pastors come and pastors go, right? Amen. I see somebody in here saying, I'm just waiting for the bridge to open up so she can cross on over. But I praise God. Amen. But I just want you to know that this is your church and that you great things are happening in your church. Also, we want you to know that the bus trip for the children, I think at this point, is sold out. The money is due today. If you want to donate, some people have come forth and say, I want to sponsor a child. Please make sure that you see Sister Talisha. She's working with the finance department so we can get that to a closure. How many of you like what's going on? If you like what's going on, just give God some praise. Just give God some glory. Hallelujah. We want to say that this is a new month. It did ha Y'all didn't have to be here. I didn't have to be here, did I? Amen. If you enjoyed yourself last night, will you stand all over the church? <laughs> if you enjoyed yourself last night, amen, 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 amen. I see Brother Larry. He popped up like popcorn. Amen, amen. <laughs> I want to publicly thank everybody that did come. It was a great time. And I just want you to know that, you know, there's a song my mother used to say, get on board. <laughs> the train is running. Do we want to be left behind? Amen. So we praise God for all that is going on in the life of the church. We will have the fire up. You are the best of the best. So when you hold your chest up, you can say, I go to Herlock United Methodist Church. Amen. 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 Come on. I know y'all can do that. Amen. How many of you pray? I got one more thing. Because, you know, some of y'all just ain't going to move. You know, I, I, I get that. Some of you just ain't going to move. But if you're proud to be a member of Herlock United Methodist Church, will you stand up? 
Come on, let's give God some praise. If you are a proud member, hallelujah, of Herlock United Methodist Church, why don't you give God some praise? Why don't you give him some glory? Come on, let, come on, come on. Let's let, let, let him know on social media. Proud member of Herlock United Methodist Church, located at 502 South Main Street, a church where we just want to. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you today bearing gifts. May these gifts be put to good use like the blessings you have showered upon us. May your generos generosity be em emulated by everyone. Teach them, especially the young ones, the importance of giving and how it is more important than receiving. May these gifts be able to bind all your broken hearts. May they please you, Father, as that is what life is for. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen.
Most gracious Father, we thank you and we honor you today. For there is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And we know that it's the presence of the Lord. You said sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. Then you said pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While thou art calling, do not pass me by. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. For God, we thank you that you've blessed us to see the first Sunday of December, the last month of 2022, December 4th, if my mind takes me back, December 4th of 2021, you called an angel, your son, home on this day, Brother Anthony Hughes. So God, one year later, <laughs> I <coughs> and so many others can say thank you, God, just for life. Thank you, God, that you blessed us <coughs> to see another month. A month where we will celebrate the birth of your son. <coughs> we ask you, God, to come in the midst right now. For God, so many times we believe that we operate on self. <coughs> but God, we know that it's the Holy Spirit that has to come and abide with us. God, we ask you to <coughs> go from the pulpit to the door. Go to every pew. Help us to work on us. <coughs> Touch me, God. It's me, God, standing in the need of prayer. Not my brother. Not my sister, but it's me, O oh Lord, <coughs> standing in the need of prayer. God, we thank you. We honor you. We thank you, God, for a peace that surpasses all understanding. <coughs> God, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How many of you remember when the old saints used to sing that? Then they would say, I'm singing.
Amen. Amen. If you will allow me, I'm going to read from the Gospel of John, the 16th chapter, and I will read the 33rd verse. It says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. The word of God for the people of God. This morning, if I may, just for a few minutes, I want to say to you or say to yourself, there is no other peace like the peace of Christ. There is no other peace like the peace of Christ. I want to honor this text and theme and effort to understand what the Lord is speaking to us through this text uh, to help us become more useful to the kingdom. I prayed and I trusted. I've spent hours with this and I pray that you will get something out of this. Uh, in our text for examination, we find Jesus in an upper room disclosure with his disciples and Jesus has moved from being comfortable, the disciples in their sorrow and encouraging them in hope of his soon to be finished work and the coming of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and I say, you say, well, pastor, why are you talking about this? Because this is talking about when he died, but you'll see in the end. In chapter 14, Jesus promised that he is going away and then to prepare a place for them in his father's house. In Luke chapter, in, in the 14th chapter, Jesus also addressed their concerns about being left as orphan and troubled hearts. In chapter 15, Jesus beautifully describes how the disciples would be his branch so that he is the vine and they will produce fruit in them. In chapter 15, Jesus abruptly transitioned to warning them uh, that they would face a fall brutal of the hatred of the world. Uh, in chapter 15, Jesus encouraged them with the hope of the coming of the Holy Spirit. Uh, in chapter 16, Jesus also once again addressed the subject of how the world would be hatred of the world. Uh, these are the last words Jesus spoke to his disciples before his arrest, trials, and crucifixion. It's not a simple teaching tool because there is a lot of interaction between him and them. And Jesus wound up praying aloud in front of them for a period of time. But it's not a simple conversation because Jesus is very purposeful, purposeful and intent on getting, getting specific content across to them. Have you ever been in a conversation and you want to get your point across and, and you want to be specific and you want to be precise, maybe not with just your friends or your colleagues, but maybe somebody at work just not understanding. You know how it is. The person that doing the work knows how to do it best, right? But then when you got a supervisor, right, they think they know how to do it. Can I get an amen? But you know that because you do it every day. As Jesus announced his departure to his disciples, he was deeply concerned that clearly comprehend where they stood. Have you ever understood where you stood with somebody? Although departure looked terrible, a loss to them, Jesus was letting them know he really was an advance on God's plan for his people. The critical reality which was meant to encourage the disciples is that the departure of Jesus and all of his followers would enter into a new relationship with his father. This is part of Christianity that we no longer preach. We make gospel preaching too happy. Can I get a witness? We make it to the point that we want to preach and we want people to jump up and down. Amen? Come on, somebody. We like to preach everything is going to be wonderful. Come on, y'all. We don't separate the critical and the pain with getting up in the morning. <coughs> We like to gloss over it really quickly so we can get the congregation shouting up early Sunday morning. We would like to get him. He died. Didn't he die with the pain and the suffering? But that's not what I'm talking about this morning. 
It is a problem I had with how we focus on how God wants to bless you and how if you have faith and live for God, he will provide you material wealth and provide you with health and trials and all of that. They can't attract the crowd, but that's not true. That won't, they, that won't attract a storm because storms will come in your life. The fact is a lot of Christians are cast down all the time because they don't expect the attack of their peace and their joy. Come on, somebody. You know you can be in a peaceful state, and then all of a sudden, your peace and your joy is gone. Hello, Walls. I'll talk to you later. I don't know. how. You know how it is. We say, we sanctified, we filled with the Holy Ghost, and we don't, we don't never, we don't never, we don't never. We got peace all the time, right? Well, your devil is a liar. No more sickness because I'm saved. No more stress because I'm saved. No more suffering because I'm saved. No more tears because I'm saved. No more diabetes because I'm saved. No more arthritis because I'm saved. No more dialysis because I'm saved. No more cancer because I'm saved and sanctified. Well, I'm reminded of a person called Paul while he was on the Damascus Road. He was highly educated in the law. History suggests that he had a doctorate of the law. But let me tell you one thing. Thing. Oh, Paul had some suffering in his time. Anybody know what I'm talking about? They had to meet him on Damascus Road. In Acts, there was a riot at Ephesus. The whole city was tore up. And when the Jews came, they wanted to kill him. Paul didn't have these problems prior to meeting Jesus. Oh, yes, y'all know. Paul had some hardships, some turmoils, and some chaos. He found and he held himself a peace that only God can provide. What are you talking about? Paul said, for I have learned in whatever state I am, therefore to be content. Paul submitted his life to God, and he trusted him. I don't know about you, but this is not a long sermon, but I want you to know, for my my strength is made perfect in my weakness. The realities of life is this. I don't know what you're going through. You may be all made up and dolled up. We were made up last night. But let me tell you one thing. Behind that makeup may have not been some peace, may have not been some joy. Jesus understands your struggles. He knows your pains that you're going through. Jesus was one. He knew that his mother would go through pain. But I stopped by this morning to tell you that I want you to know that Jesus is saying, look to the hills from whence cometh your help. I lift up my eyes to the hill from cometh my help. Your peace cannot be found in your bank account. Your peace cannot be found on your job. In your your retirement in your influence but your peace coming from a hill I'm not talking about Lauren Hill I'm not talking about Capitol Hill I'm not talking about John Hill but I'm talking about a hill a hill a hill where my help comes from oh yes we can have no peace because we can look to the wrong hill. What is a wrong hill? The wrong hill of gossip. The wrong hill of backbiting. The wrong hill of slothfulness. The wrong hill. I don't know about you, but I'm going to look to the hill that which cometh my help. I'm not looking at Joe Biden. I'm not looking and Westmore, but I'm looking to the hill that cometh my help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The word of God said, be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Well, let me tell you about this world. This world 
will give you some knocks and pains. This world will give you some heartaches. I don't know about you, but I come to tell you, Christ's peace comes with decrease. Oh my God, somebody missed that. Let me say it again. When you decrease, Christ's peace will increase. Oh my God, let me say it again. When you decrease, Christ's peace will increase. Well, let me tell you this. When you go down low, Christ's peace will come high. When you go down in the valley, you can climb up the hill. I don't know about you, but my tears at night will bring some peace in the morning. I don't know about you, but I shall wear a crown. No cross, no crown. Oh, yes. Christ's peace comes with the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. I don't know about you, but ha, Frankie Beverly say, joy and pain, sunshine and rain. I don't know about you, but I come to tell you there's a peace that surpasses all understanding. Standing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to put you to the test. How many of you in here know Mr. Sparford? Y'all don't know who Mr. Sparford is? Okay. Mr. Sparford was a wealthy attorney. He was a real estate investor. He lost all his money in Chicago fire, fire in 1871. Two years later, now y'all gonna blow yourself a mind because you always know about it. He sent his wife and four daughters on a trip to England. The, sea, the ship sank. <laughs> four daughters drowned it. Only, ha, 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 oh my God, only his wife lived in the midst of the pain and sorrow. See, y'all sing stuff and don't know what you're singing. Oh my God, the Bible says study to show thyself approved. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like a sweet billow roll, where is my lot thou hast taught me to say? It is well, it is well, it is well with my my soul, though Satan should buff and trials should come, let's bless it control. The Christ has required my helpless estate. Anybody here can say it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. Weeping may endure for a night, but it is well with my soul. Anybody here gonna walk by faith and not by sight? It is well with my soul. Now the next time I ask you, you'll know who he is, right? But I want you to know that a peace that only God can give is when you think about this. Finally, my brothers, think on these things. Anybody here want to think on things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely? I'm going to thank God for my aches and my pains, but I still got peace. I'm going to thank God for the tears that I share, but I still got peace. Because I know that silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild. 
sleep in heavenly peace. And y'all want to know why I like Oh Holy Night. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pin till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope that weary souls rejoice. He says, fall on your knees and hear the angel voice. But this is the part, Brother Kevin. <laughs> Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Change shall he break from the slaves of our brother. Fall on your knees and hear the angel's voice. Oh, night of divine. Oh, night when Christ was born. Oh, night. Oh, night. Oh, holy night. Fall on your knees. A peace that only God can give you. When the doctors tell you something, it's a peace that's a passive, whole understanding. Blessed are the peacemakers. Didn't say the hell makers. He said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. He said, now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times. In peace, I will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord. Peace that only God can give. As we stand all over the church, there's a peace that said, peace be still, that only, only, God can give. If you don't get nothing for Christmas and all you get is peace, how many of you would come to the altar? How many of you would come? How many of you would come? If you didn't get one gift but peace, how many of you would come? How many of you would come? Last week, the Advent season, if God gave you joy, nothing else, if you got nothing else but joy, all the beautiful decorations, all the beautiful poinsettia, all the beautiful trees, if you could just give one gift of peace, would you come? 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 This is the first Sunday of the last month of the year. And I just want you to think about this. Just as Brother Vernon is playing softly and I'm talking, uh, just close your eyes and think about what God has done from you. Well, just think about it. Just think about what he's done for you. Just think about it. Just think about it. Don't look at nobody else. Just look at yourself. Imagine a mirror. I can't worry about what God has done for LaDonia. I got to worry about what God's done for me. A peace, a peace, a peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding. How God has healed you. How God has kept you. How you could have been killed on the highway. How you could have not had a job. But God has blessed you. He's blessed you. He's blessed you. God is a healer. He's a healer. How many of you know he's a healer? I look at Sister Patricia. God is a healer. He's a healer. And I know him to be a healer. How many of you know that the peace of God is more than anything that life could give you? When you can lay down at night and you say, God, if I don't wake up in the morning, I know I'm at peace with you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. 
I don't do anything without asking permission. But I got a special prayer request today. Don't ask no questions. You don't need to ask no questions. All you need to do is pray. When I just want y'all to see how God moves. Brother Camper called me when he was in Baltimore. And he said, Pastor, I didn't really want to come. And he said, I really didn't want to listen. But look how God has calmed his spirit. Come on, y'all ought to give God some praise. It's only what God can do. I need Miss Janice to come right here. And she gave me permission to do this. She gave me permission. Now, I'm not telling you this for no self-glorification. But I want y'all to know something. Because you see me in this pulpit, you don't see what I do behind closed doors. I had two members sick. And I said, I got you what you need. Because see, God called me to be a servant first. I went and got the supplies that she needed and she looked me in the face and she said, Pastor, why did you do this? I said, because that's what I'm called to do. I'm called to be a servant. Before I could leave, she said, I got something to tell you. And that's between me and you. And I said, God's got you. God's got you. Now I know your daughter is very funny. She don't like to talk and speak on things. She believes in prayer. And I know her, cause God knows she can work my last nerve sometime. But I love her to death. So Tanya, I want you Miss Janice to turn around to Tanya. And I want Tanya to wrap her arms around you as tight as you can. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you and we honor you. God, you know why I have them breast to breast. But God, we know that you are able to do all things, God. God, we know that you will go even before the doctors go. God, we denounce it right now in the name of Jesus. God, you said by your stripes she is healed. That no weapon formed against her shall prosper. God, you move. God, you take the family's hands off of it. And you move. You do it. And when we get the final results, we'll know that you are still a true and living God. God bless them. Bind them together as mother and daughter. Release the worry right now. Bring peace, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We thank you. We honor you. We honor you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's already done. How many of you know it's already done? It's already done. And I want y'all to know one thing. I'm honoring the spirit of Christ. I know 
how Tanya is when it comes to prayer. So Tanya, watch God do it. And when he does this for you, he's saying to you, daughter, I hear your cry. Just stretch out on faith and trust and believe that he'll do it. Come on, y'all. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. I'm just going to give y'all a sneak peek. I ain't going to tell who, but I'm going to tell y'all what God will do. Somebody applied for a job that required a bachelor's degree. All doubts was in her mind. But today she showed me. She said, Pastor, look what God has done. Don't you doubt God. Don't you doubt God. Don't you doubt it. Come on, let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. Sometimes we can be caregivers of others that we don't care for ourselves. But we're going to break this yoke. We're going to break this yoke. we even going to break the yoke of sickness off of Tanya. God, we break that yoke in the name of Jesus. Now, I want y'all to do me a favor. Don't you go ask Miss Janice nothing. Don't ask her nothing. All you need to do is just pray and know that God's got it. He's got it. Yes, God. Oh, come. 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 Yes,
Amen. Truly, we give God the glory. Amen. Come on, let's give him praise. Praise him. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Christ our Lord invites us to his table. All who love him, who earnestly repent of their sins and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sins before God and one another. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus, you are forgiven. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to your Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join the unending hymn. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering and resurrection, you gave birth to your church and delivered us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by water and spirit. On the night which he gave up for us, he took the bread and he gave thanks and he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup and gave thanks to you and gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is the blood of a new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, who offers our, ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ offered for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Pour out your Holy Spirit on these, on us gathered here, on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood, by your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, one in ministry to all the world. And Christ's name in final victory. And we feast at his heavenly banquet through your son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is given unto you. Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Can we repeat the Lord's prayer?
before we come, I'd like for you to close your eyes and just reflect over the last month as you go into new covenant with Christ and the communion. <clears throat> Do I hold an ought against my brother or sister whom I see every day? Ask God to forgive you. Amen. We're now in the hands of the ushers. <clears throat> My throat sounds worse than it is. I'm not going to touch communion because I don't want anybody to think I'm going to contaminate them. So I'll let Sister Verdell do it. Is that all right? Amen. body of Christ given to you, the blood of Christ that was shed for you, the body of Christ given to you, the blood of Christ that was shed for you, the body of Christ given to you, the blood of Christ that was shed for you, the body of Christ given to you, the body of Christ given to you, the body of Christ given to you, the blood of Christ that was shed for you, the body of Christ given to 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 you. 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 Body of Christ given to you. The body of Christ given to you. The body of Christ given to you. And the body of Christ given to you. 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 Body of Christ given to you. The 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 body of Christ given to you. On the night that he met with his disciples, he said, take the cup. Break the bread in remembrance of me. So he broke the bread. And he said, take the cup and drink all of it in remembrance of me till I return. Amen. 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 
Don't forget to sign up for the state church rally <clears throat> this Saturday at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. All SPBRC finance committee trustees be here so we can do our Zoom financial training. We also don't forget to pay for the trip. If you're sponsoring a child, please make sure if you put it in the offering basket that the finance committee will be aware of it. Amen. Amen. On December the 18th, we will have our annual Herlock Christmas party brunch as we celebrate every year. No Cook Tuesday is on, de on December the 13th. Chicken and dumplings. Amen. Cedric is saying something to me. The 17th, we will be at Beulah Cemetery Land Reefs. For those, we ask that you do come and you do do that. There's something else that I'm supposed to be saying and I, I can't remember. Oh, there you go. Thank you. We've gotten each year, Herlock, for years, have had an angel tree for the seniors. This year, the D Department of Social Services have come up with a different twist. I'm asking everybody to buy at least one cleaning item so that we can collect that and send it to D D D Department of Social Services. They don't want hats, they don't want gloves, they don't want blankets. They have asked, and I thank Sister Verdell for helping me to coordinate that. If you will, bring cleaning supplies, Lysol, Pine Sol, whatever, bring that, because what they're finding is that our seniors do not have, and their houses, they need cleaning supplies, all right? So just buy a bottle, and we will make sure that, Sister Verdell, the presentation is made, and you can bring that, amen? Amen, amen. As we stand all over the church, Come on, my big fella. Come on. Don't he look mighty sharp today? He got his tie on. He, he look mighty good, don't he, Brother Kevin? Look at that. You might have to keep the man behind you straight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on. Amen. It is the goal next year to get our youth more involved in the order of worship. So we praise God for that. We've got good news. And y'all know Dion is leaving Jackson State. He officially made that noise. But at 000 on 123, that's last night, our granddaughter crossed over on the band. So she is officially a Jackson State sonic boom. So we praise God for that. Amen. Amen. Don't forget the Christmas katana. Y'all might be surprised. The pastor might be singing a solo. <laughs> solo, y'all won't even be able to hear me. <laughs> Isn't it good to have fun in church? Solo that y'all won't even be able to hear me. Ain't it right, Verdi? <laughs> Amen. Now may the peace of God and his Holy Spirit rest with us and rule with us. May his peace go with us throughout this week. Bring us back next week as we come back to rejoice and praise God. We honor you, God, and we thank you for being God all by yourself. And we thank you, God, that you're going to send your son, and we're going to celebrate his birthday. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.